Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear friends. Today, we celebrate we, uh, the memorial of the Passion of St. John the Baptist, used to be known as the Martyrdom of St. John the Baptist. And coincidentally, we also celebrate National Heroes Day. So today is... A day for heroes and martyrs. And so we pray that we may emulate them in their courage to serve country or God. My dear friends, as we continue our celebration of the Holy Eucharist, we now ask for God's forgiveness, for God's mercy, for truly we have sinned. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that St. John the Baptist should go ahead of your Son, both in his birth and in his death, grant that as he died a martyr for truth and justice, we too may fight hard for the confession of what you teach through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me thus, gird your loins, stand up and tell them all that I command you. Be not crushed on their account, as though I would leave you crushed before them. For it is I this day have made you a fortified city, a pillar of iron, a wall of brass against the whole land against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people, they will fight against you, but not prevail over you. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. I will sing your salvation. I will sing your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, for my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will, I will sing your salvation. 
My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing your salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod was the one who had John the Baptist arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. She had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias' own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl, in turn, gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. My dear friends, the gospel, the good news of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In 2019, just before the pandemic, an Asian tragedy drew the attention of Western media. The New York Post covered the death of Piawat Harikun, a 17-year-old Thai who was a budding Air Force officer. The cause of death, his father discovered him dead after five days of playing non-stop video games in his room. Food containers were scattered around the body indicating that he practically never left his room, even for meals. Doctors confirmed the promising young man died of stroke. His dad made an appeal to fellow parents. Parents, he said, need to be stricter on their children's playing hours, otherwise they could end up like my son. I tried to warn him about his relentless long hours playing games, and he promised to reduce it, but it was too late. He had already died before he had a chance to change. My dear friends, I share this tragic story with you this morning because of our gospel today. Very briefly, at the center of the death of John the Baptist is the rather innocuous or harmless dance of Salome. And this for me is what made the death of the Baptist a real tragedy. His fate was sealed by such a trivial dance. It was supposed to be a simple source of entertainment for the guests, for passing the time, perhaps as icebreaker among politicians. But Salome's dance lured the weakling that was Herod to mix up such a political or governance decision as the fate of the prophet with a powerful piece of entertainment. That 
was the tragedy. A prophet dying not out in the field while bravely proclaiming the word of God, no, John the Baptist died as a result of an insignificant but very consequential dance. Like our Thai teenager dying over a video game that was supposed to only entertain him. But this tragic state of affairs continues to be a serious threat to families and nations even today. Entertainment, which is not intrinsically evil, continues to encroach on our personal and social lives. Recently, Forbes has reported that globally, the film industry gained $99.7 billion in 2021. And with TV and video streaming platforms, the staggering figure is $328.2 billion. Sports has become entertainment as well, and the global sports industry revenue is today estimated at a whopping $620 billion today, with growth that is faster than global GDP. We don't need these figures, however. We can just ask ourselves how we spend our days watching TV, Netflix, YouTube, or playing computer video games. Admittedly, entertainment has dominated modern day living. It has become a powerful, influential, imposing, addicting part of our day-to-day -day lives, just like Salome's dance. And it has blurred the important boundaries of our lives. Real, as they said, has become real. Virtual has been confused with the actual. Life, it seems, has become one big reality TV show. In politics, we vote actors and comedians into office with TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. We have all become directors and actors, putting out materials that we say reflect who we are, but are actually curated, made up, concocted, fabricated versions of ourselves. Pangiting iti, pero mataray pala. At the start of the rise of social media, our general superior, Father Adolfo Nicolás, warned us, beware of the spread of the culture of superficiality. We are not saying, of course, that we must expunge from our lives all of our beloved entertainment, only that it should not dominate our lives. Imagine if the time we spend and waste watching five hours a day of TikTok or YouTube would instead be spent reading the classics, praying, learning a new hobby, planting trees, feeding the hungry, or bravely spreading the word of God, like John the Baptist, our world now would be unrecognizable. It would be very different. And in that world, like King David, we can all be dancing in the streets. Amen. John the Baptist pointed to Christ as the Lamb of God and bore him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. Let us celebrate his birth to heaven as once many rejoice at his birth on earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Lord raise up in the church prophets like John the Baptist to comfort the afflicted and disturb the comfortable, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the powerful on earth listen to the voice of their conscience and never stifle it on account of political and economic gains and of sexual favors, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we stay firm in our conviction like John the Baptist and not sway like reeds to every direction of the wind, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we follow the Baptist's call to repent, to practice justice, and to attend to the needy 
we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we shun hypocrisy, pretending to be prayerful and generous, but running after the praise of human beings, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Candida Fungo, Father Candido Lim of the Society of Jesus, Giorgio Sumpaico, Monchin Cruz, Shawnee Chico, Dr. Deo Custodio, Adrian Marin, Joe Lanusa, Esther Runes, and Milan Uy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of Tessie Perez and Jocelyn Triumfo, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Rosa Uitan, Gilbert Son, and Ramona Trilliana, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Irene Pineda, Aga Camarata, Alvin Miko and Martin Ramos, Edwin and Emily Quas on their wedding anniversary, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, you sent John the Baptist to give witness to the light who is Christ the Lord. May this light shine upon us as we journey toward your kingdom. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Through these offerings which we bring you, O Lord, grant that we may make straight your paths as taught by that voice crying in the desert. Saint John the Baptist, who powerfully sealed his teaching by the shredding of his blood through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ, our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory. For you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing, even in the womb he leapt for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone, of all the prophets, pointed out the Lamb of Redemption, and to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism, and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with the powers of heaven, uh, we worship now your, you constantly on earth and before your majesty. Without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
My dear friends, the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, all the clergy, and all your faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. May you welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, including Saint John the Baptist, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We now pray to our Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May dear friends, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of, act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen.
Communion antiphone, John answered and said, He must increase, but I must decrease. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, as we celebrate the heavenly birth of St. John the Baptist, that we may revere for what it signifies, the saving sacrament we have received, and even more may rejoice at its clear effects in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, the Mass is ended. Let us go serve the Lord and one another. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God. Sumaya, tu kompaya, nung sosa pa'y sigaw, 